In this video, I'm gonna answer or attempt to answer, how does contributing to an IRA reduce your taxes? Now, I can't believe I actually haven't made this video before, but it's a great question. And if you're just getting into contributing to IRAs, you're probably thinking the same thing. So I wanna explain this as hopefully simplistically as possible. Now, what's confusing for most people in this, in this case is that how do you make a contribution into an IRA? And, and an IRA I'm talking about is not a Roth. That is after-tax contributions, and it's gonna grow tax-deferred and come out tax-free in retirement, more or less. I am talking about a traditional IRA. So this goes in pre-tax, but the confusion is that the money is actually coming from your local checking or savings account. So the money that's in your local checking or savings account is already taxed. So the way to look at it is to make that contribution, you need to have earned income. So in this example that we're gonna talk about, I'll just say we have a W-2. So we're getting the W-2 earnings and we're gonna make this contribution into the traditional IRA. The way you should think about it is it's kind of going in reverse. Even though we've already withheld those taxes on our paycheck, we're actually reversing that transaction. So when you go ahead and make that contribution, then you file your taxes. When you're filing your taxes, it's gonna look at your total amount that you're earning. So let's throw out an example of $100,000 and you make a $6,000 contribution. So right as it stands, right before you made that contribution, you've earned $100,000. But because you made that contribution of $6,000 into your traditional IRA, you're not only gonna have taxable income of $94,000. So if you then made all of the correct amount of withholdings, then they would look, the, the tax return would say, okay, we have this amount of taxes that you've paid, but you paid too much in taxes. And that is where the refund comes in. Now, if you hadn't withheld enough throughout the course of the year, you might have to owe, or if you did it perfectly, then you won't have to pay anything. But that's basically how it's gonna work when you're making the contribution into your traditional IRA. So even though it is made with after-tax dollars, by making that contribution, your tax return is basically gonna go back and look and say, no, we've earned this amount, but then we made this contribution. So instead of earning 100,000, it was really just 94,000. So let's go ahead and recalculate this. And this is the amount that you actually should have paid. Now, if that amount was, was let more or less will then depend on whether or not you're going to get a refund or whether or not you'll have to pay into, um, into taxes when you file your return. So hopefully that clarified a little bit more. Let me know in the comments down below if you have questions. I don't want to get too technical. Just give you a brief overview of how this worked. Hopefully the explanation made more sense to you. Thanks for watching the video. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.